An overnight siege by militants in Afghanistan's capital came to an end this morning. The Taliban is taking credit for a string of coordinated assaults in four cities. Kabul was especially hard hit. Alan Pizzi is in the Afghan capital. Alan, good morning. Good day, Charlie. Well, in terms of the overall military situation, the attacks didn't really amount to much. But Afghan President Hamid Karzai called them a failure by the intelligence services and especially NATO. The Taliban spokesman promised there were more to come. The operation to root out and kill the insurgents was carried out by Afghans without the intervention of troops from the International Security Force. But it took almost 18 hours from start to finish. A handful of insurgents took over a building site in what is supposedly one of the most secure areas of the city, home to many foreign embassies, a NATO base and the Afghan parliament. This morning, the bodies of Taliban fighters were still sprawled in the rubble, testament to the fierce fighting. The Taliban said the operation marked the start of their spring offensive. The spokesman said it had been planned for months and was in part revenge for U.S. troops having burned the Quran and urinated on Taliban dead and for the killing of 17 Afghan civilians by a lone U.S. Army sergeant. The attacks here and in three provincial capitals left 36 insurgents dead. Eight Afghan security force members were killed and 40 were wounded. One insurgent was captured and reportedly confessed to being from what is known as the Haqqani Network, a Taliban subgroup that operates from neighboring Pakistan. U.S. Ambassador Ryan Crocker backed that up yesterday. Attacks like this demonstrate why we need to be here, he said. To get out before the Afghans have a full grip on security, which is a couple of years out, would be to invite the Taliban, the Haqqanis and Al-Qaeda back in and set the stage for another 9-11. And that, I think, is an unacceptable risk for any American. Preventing further attacks is a serious challenge for the Afghan authorities, especially trying to keep weapons from coming into the city. And they've asked for scanning equipment to help do it. Charlie? Alan, thank you very much.